James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 14, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after our sun awakened with a X 1.2 solar flare, not directly Earth-facing, but that could be geo-effective towards Earth, we just had an M5.2 solar flare. I tried an M5.2 solar flare. Actually, it was originated from one of the sunspots that has just come around the limb, i.e. just starting to be Earth-facing. That's going to be sunspot AR4087. Now, it's a basic sunspot right now, but that was a very large 5.2, 5.21 plus solar flare that just popped off. So the sun wants, wants to get active, and we're going to see how this goes. All right, over to HMI Intensogram, 487 was here early this morning. Very complex looking sunspot. They have it in green, which means it's simple still. Probably need to reevaluate this sunspot. We can see the negative and positive cores. Let's move more into this position here, which very well could give any coral mass ejection on Earth component to it. This is 486. It's just about all the way around, around that departing limb, but with our geomagnetic connection to the sun always being on the departing limb, that, believe it or not, can also be geoeffective traveling up that magnetic connection to Earth and bringing that energy to Earth as we saw the proton storm, as we saw the electrons hit, as we saw the x-rays hit, right? Now, the bad news, we broke our sea baseline. You heard it. Actually, Noah came out yesterday and today and said that there was a 0% chance of M or X flare. And I guess the sun decided to break both those rules. Way to go, Noah. 1% chance of X class solar flare for the day. How'd that go? A 15% chance of an M class solar flare. They don't even have it showing up here. Uh, they have the X 1.21, not the M, what I believe to be a 5.21. And I did uh, show you the sunspot group that came from. It's evident on goes. Over to our proton flux. Boy, that shot up so quick from a baseline. Almost put us in a... S1 solar storm, which would have been 10 million volts of electricity or more in the form of protons, didn't quite make it there, and the second flare didn't quite do it either. We seem to be, well, thank God, uh, losing the possibility of a solar storm, i.e. proton storm, but we were in a polar cap absorption event, both in and out of one, and I think we're coming out of it right now. Moving around to our new GOES-19 solar ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. You can see we have a coronal hole coming around. This is a picture taken a bit earlier. That is our culprit right there. It's going to be... 4087, let's move more to this position here. The coronal hole itself should also be a problem for us, creating winds higher than 600 kilometers per second. And that is also moved over to the right. Once it is earth facing a day or two, we can add 40 hours to that and we'll be in a, well, solar storm, but it will be solar winds only. Except for really, we have to worry about both the X 1.21 or the departing limb of our sun, because that's where our geomagnetic connection is. And it can travel down the rope right into Earth. And actually, the one coming around the, uh, well, incoming limb looks brutal. 
it might not be as bad. This one might not affect Earth, but the next one definitely will. Over to our X-ray Absorption Prediction Center, we had that large solar flare. I believe it's going to be about an M5.21. No one's reporting it yet. Blast off over China, over Japan, over Indonesia, over Papua New Guinea, and parts of Australia. The good news is we're out of that, look, that polar cap absorption event. It's just unbelievable that we even had one. And that did not reinforce it into another absorption event where the protons are ionized over the poles and leaking in, i.e. radiating, frying, frying us humans and everything else on Earth, by the way. So, wow, since March 28th, we haven't seen a substantial flare of any sort. Now we've had two substantial flares in a matter of less than 12 hours. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.